Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tatiana and I'm reviewing perfumes for you. Welcome back for those of you who are with me for some time already and welcome to the newcomers. We are very happy to have you here in our community. We have a very interesting topic today. Today we are reviewing perfume collection of Commodity. So I bought this during my travel in uh, Cincinnati. So Commodity Sense Space Edit. I will show the close up for you as well. And Commodity is a pretty fast developing perfumery brand in uh, US. It is uh, becoming quite famous. It is there everywhere in Instagram and, and TikTok and a lot of people are buying this brand. So I definitely was not ready to directly go and buy the full bottle of the brand. I don't know and didn't have enough experience with the perfumes, but I was so much ready to get this a uh, trial set. And uh, this is called Scent Space Edit uh, to try it and to give my review and to tell you like, what do I think about these perfumes? First of all, I really like the thinking and the structure of the brand. I think this is very special and unique to them. So all their perfumes are split in three different categories. And uh, they also in the trial sets, they basically have this guide for you to explain a little bit their logic and their philosophy. And basically, they have three areas and three spaces for their perfumes. Uh, first, it's the personal space. Uh, then, uh, which is like perfumes more for you and f like you are the key person to impress by this perfume. Then there is expressive sense, meaning it's for you and for others around you. And there is bold uh, collection. So this is more perfumes with oomph, uh, beast kind of projection and performance to impress everybody around you. So yes, very interesting that from the beginning, they already give this guidance to their buyers of which kind of perfume space you are entering in. I find it very useful specifically as they have many perfumes. What they also do, they basically issue one perfume in different spaces. So as we said, there is a personal, expressive and bold. For example, there one of the bestseller that they have milk perfume, it's available in all three different spaces and uh, many others as well. So, and the perfumes uh, from different spaces, they really differ. So milk, which will be personal and milk expressive and milk, milk bold are actually different perfumes and have different notes inside. Although they're having kind of the same characteristic on the top. So very interesting philosophy. I love it. I really appreciate. But today we will be reviewing these six scents. And me, I have two scents from personal space, two scents from expressive space and two scents from the bold space. So I, of course, already have the ones that I love. Let's go for it. Let's learn which one they are. So, uh, I will start in the order of from the least love to the most love. Okay. And I will start with the one which was definitely the least love. And for me, this is the perfume which is called Moss Plus. So this one. Uh, there is also a nice description of each perfume that you bought here. And I will read you the description so you understand what do they put in the note. Moss Bold, the green and citrus aroma of bergamot, oak moss and uh, petit grain is amplified by fresh pepper berry and warm amber. So I tried this perfume. For me, this is perfume for men full stop. So I don't feel here any unisex or anything close to it. Very, very classical perfume for men. Okay. If you think about like um, Blue Dior or any other like classical perfume from any designer, it will basically have this kind of opening 
and projection and so on. By the way, I didn't find that this is this is from the bold collection, so it should be oomph and stuff like this. It's it is in the opening. I don't feel it is uh, staying like this during the day. It's actually, like few hours late, already you cannot kind of smell it. For me, most plus pass. Next one, which I think. I like the list, but basically I like the list because I don't know for what exactly I would use it. It's definitely not my personal perfume profile. And this is paper minus. This little minus means that it's from personal space. So you have the perfumes which are with little minuses. It's personal. Without minus or plus, it's expressive. And with plus, this is bold. So paper minus, which has these kind of notes. The Woody Blend comes alive on skin with uh, lightweight and effortlessness uh, glow of uh, some amber sandal wood and uh, Ezos E Super. I have no clue what does it mean. Uh, so it does smell like a paper. I don't know person who wants to smell like a paper, although there might be people like this, there might people be like who like super light perfumes. So this is super light, but doesn't have any character for me, basically. It smells like paper. If you want to smell like paper, use this one. The next one is for me on the plus three uh, from the list like and um, so it will be six, five, four, plus four. Uh, so next one, it's uh, fourth place in the collection. And this is perfume I already talked about on this channel. It's Velvet Plus. So Velvet Plus is from the Bold collection, the ones which are expressive oomph to your face. A deep ambery blend of vanilla, rose and amber is made even darker with overall of patchouli. I so much agree. And this one, although it's on the fourth place, this is already the one which I would consider to have in my collection. It's actually uh, super nice. It's very ambery, but like ambery perfume have this uh, tendency of being more oomph, more seductive, more strong kind of perfumes and late, um, less for the daytime. This is exactly the case, but I love this one. This is a beautiful perfume. It uh, opens very beautifully on my skin. I'm not big um, fan of rose, but here there is this uh, rose sandalwood patchouli together, which is beautiful, feminine, dark femininity kind of combination. So this is yes for me, Velvet Plus. Again, it is in the bold uh, area. From the projection and performance, yes, it's last on the skin. I would say like six hours, uh, some stuff, something like this. But it's not projecting massively, so it is not Baccarat Rouge kind of perfume, okay? It's uh, still staying quite close to the skin, but definitely, yes, Velvet Plus for uh, all amber lovers. We are going to the top three. So, and top three for me will start with the one which actually I was not thinking I will put in my top three, but somehow I loved it. And this is the perfume called Book, Book Minus from Commodity. So let's read for the notes. Book is from personal space, a soft aromatic and woody scent that reads close to the skin with sandalwood, sandalwood and black tea. Yes, when I hear the notes, I will say yes, this is kind of perfumes that I like. It is very nice, it is very woody, it is very unique in a way, like I don't feel that there is a lot of perfumes like this in the market. It is definitely unisex, uh, I can wear it, my husband can wear it, like anyone can wear it, honestly. Uh, and yes, there is this feeling of like you are getting into the library in the most beautiful way possible, okay? This is not bad library or whatever. It is really, really very beautiful kind of perfume. Interesting, interesting. Not at all the perfumes that normally I would like. I would say that Diptyque could uh, issue something which smells like this. This is very much in uh, their characteristic. This is very much in their style. So I would not expect 
something like this from this brand it's like it is still like not a super expensive brand it's not niche niche how we used to think about it but yeah very good sandalwood beautiful cedarwood black tea i love black tea perfumes more and more actually i start to appreciate them more and more with the time and this commodity book something tells me it will be very good for layering for example me i'm thinking of layering it with a blanche bed never tried it huh? it's just like something that gets to my mind that most probably this combination will be very beautiful on the skin i will try it and i will tell you but yeah book minus from commodity uh for people who like light green tea sandalwood closer to the skin less projecting but very unique kind of perfumes right top two like top two uh and the one which is getting the number two is gold commodity gold Итак, Commodity Gold. The Warm Gourmet is a luxury blend of amber, creamy sandalwood and vanilla. Okay, creamy sandalwood, uh, vanilla, uh, like what, what else you can do? Again, I'm not a big lover of amber, but here somehow it is good. I was wearing this perfume yesterday at work and I loved the performance. I would say, like, they say that it's expressive. Again, for me, everything that they have in their lay down of spaces, I will tune it down a little bit. So for me, it's personal scent. I didn't feel it's massively uh, project or project like, at all. Um, I didn't got any compliments or anyone noticed my perfume. But after the work, when I was coming back driving home, I was still able to feel this perfume at me. And this is like talking about eight, nine uh, hours of wear. So it's very good performance. Uh, quite a lot of uh, air wearing time. Yeah, uh, I definitely recommend this one. I think this one definitely have a space and place in, uh, in my perfume collection. And again, this thinking about sandalwood amber and vanilla together this creaminess uh, this femininity like definitely in my in my category in my kind of perfumes and number one number one what do you think it is i'm sure you know this is absolutely bestseller from the brand and this is milk let's read the notes cold milk uh, cools down and otherwise warm and creamy fragrances of marshmallow and tonka bean and mahogany. Guys, oh, I love lactonic perfumes. You know, from my collection, this is Hyo, Blanche Bed, uh, to some extent, even Bois Doré have this kind of lactonic feeling and like uh, Le Delis from Courageuse, like all of them have this powdery lactonic feel and this one as well, like I will respray it on me. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Like I love this perfume. I didn't try Milky Plus and actually trying Milk, I want to try Milk Plus. Unfortunately, I could not buy it when I was there. So, but now going back to yes, I'm sure which ones I will pick but yes this is very good this is fantastic perfume by itself uh reminds me a little bit of the blanche bed actually yeah so blanche bed think about blanche bed but less expensive uh yeah uh, and i'm sure it's great perfume for layering i'm wondering how it will be but i so much want to try this perfume should be beautiful perfume for layering and should open very nicely on the skin. Beautiful. Another one in lactonic perfumes. If you like, this is here. If you like Blanche Bed, if you like to some extent Salon Blanc. Yeah, Salon Blanc. Also have a little bit of this lactonic feeling as well. So yes, please, please, please try milk from Commodity. I'm sure you will love it. So we went through full the list. Uh, going back, book, definitely. 
paper dotted match, gold, yes, milk, yes, uh, velvet plus, yes, moss plus, no. Uh, love it, love it. Uh, very good discovery for me. Honestly, it's rare that among one brand you get quite a lot of perfumes that you like. So here it's four out of six. Uh, it's, it's quite a lot. Uh, so they did pretty good job. Let's uh, think and look more at their performance. But if you have a chance to get the trial set of the brand, I highly recommend it to you. I'm sure you will like this experience as well. This is all for today, my lovelies. I love you. Please don't forget to subscribe. And till the next time, bye-bye.